Hey guys, just doing a, um, a video on this power supply unit I got a while ago from a, um, an old factory. It's just an old um, a power supply unit. It uses the uh, silicon type diodes you can see just in there. There's one of them on a uh, rectifier. A couple of uh, big capacitors. As you can see, these are pretty old uh, plessy capacitors. Uh, the date of uh, that one is February 61 and the other one is December 60. So pretty old uh, bean can capacitors really so there's a couple of uh, de Villiers on there as well there's an old advanced components transformer you can see that takes uh, 0 to 550 no steps there and the has a couple of output fuses there, 2 amp fuses you see the plate in there it's a um, DC Supply Unit, Advanced Components Limited, Hainal uh, Essex, England, uh, 323 to 632 volts input. Output is 18018 volts DC, so that's 36 volts uh, at 2 amps. Uh, type DC 1 to 1, I believe that is, zero number 109. Uh, cycles per second, you can just see there is uh, 50 or 50 hertz. They used to call it cycles per second. Back in the old days, you can definitely tell this uh, is an old model. Got a couple of drain resistors there to drain the capacitors off after you've turned it off. Nice design. It's uh, very similar to what you get on the old, um, the really old valve amps. It had the aluminium base and all the, uh, all of the valves would be on that along with the capacitors and the transformers, much like this configuration. So yeah, we'll uh, give it a test just now. I did actually also draw a schematic, I'm not sure how well you can see that. When I first got it, I just uh, drew it out, tested it to make sure it was all to the right values and everything in order, which it was. The capacitors are still pretty good. So yeah. I've got a um, hooked up to a variac. We're measuring the input voltage on this one, going through the power supply unit, and we've got the output voltage in DC on that multimeter there, and we'll uh, we'll try that on. So plug it in, switch them on, switch the variac on, give it about. 30% input, so that's about 80 volts in. About 28 volts out at the moment, so we'll uh, hook it up to the little uh, solenoid engine here. All right, just turn that down a little bit. About 12 volts into that. There we go, it's about 12 volts. So, yeah, testing it on the solenoid engine there, which, um, me and my old man made when I was uh, quite small in, in school, very young, you know. What, how it works is a um, there's a solenoid on there which is switched by a switch and the switch is uh, actuated by the, uh, the wheel there which goes back around over the beam and back into the solenoid again so it just goes in a little circle. So that's, that's how that works. I'm just using it just to test it on there. It's quite a cool little uh, engine so I thought I'd just Give that a go. So yeah, it's running about on average 12 volts. It fluctuates a bit. It's obviously it's switching quite a high, quite a high rate there. But yeah, the uh, capacitors didn't blow up, which is always a good sign. Nothing is uh, nothing's hot on here, which is good. Fuses, resistors. I won't be touching the input because that is 80 volts. Well, they're about 70 volts now. They're about. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty old, old school stuff, really old school technology. I think this is one of a kind, this engine here. I haven't ever seen one of these anywhere else. So I think when my old man came up with the idea, I don't know where, where he got the idea from, whether it was just a, uh, based on something because he's more into steam power like a model engineering type stuff and this is like an, a, 
an electric version of it that you just came up with. But yeah, pretty cool. It's running nicely on the uh, the old power supply. Variac's still going quite nicely. No problems there. I still haven't got around to doing it up really, spacing it up and just giving it a bit of a sort out and short, sorting out that uh, shaft problem with it. So we'll get around to that when we do. But yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed guys. It's been a pretty interesting video, a bit different from the usual stuff. So take care and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.